The International Energy Agency is out with its latest scorecard on how much money is being pumped into various sources of energy, and it's found the shift away from fossil fuel investment is still too low for a key goal in the fight against global warming. Jeannie Lee shows us where the money's going. There are 181 pages in this annual report card, so let's just go over some of the highlights from the International Energy Agency, which says that total energy investment this year will total $2.8 trillion. Now, for every $1 invested in fossil fuels, $1.70 goes to cleaner forms of energy. And $1 billion a day is expected to be invested in solar power. That's more than for new oil production. So for the first time, it means that solar investment will exceed that of crude oil production investment. Now, this is all, of course, a critical issue as climate change uh, is continuing to be a struggle for the planet, which the UN has uh, largely blamed on fossil fuels, oil, natural gas, and coal. Progress has been slow but measurable. If you look at this graph, you'll see that the green uh, lines represent greener forms of energy investment, while the black lines are fossil fuel investments over the years and the two have uh, uh, moved in, in di opposite directions in recent years and uh, definitely uh, in the last uh, few years that has really been the case. The gap has really grown very quickly. But the IEA says that fossil fuel investment is still way too high. In fact, it says it's double what it should be if we are to see the goal that a lot of people have, which is to see net zero emissions by the middle of the century. Now, what is behind all of these changes, the shift? Well, a combination of things, including from the IEA itself, which has called for investment in oil to be stopped, for people and businesses to stop putting their money in oil. Now, there also have been a lot of uh, weather events, extreme ones, catastrophic ones, and that has raised awareness of the link between fossil fuels and climate change. And there's been also time and adoption of new policies by governments. Here's what we mean by what has contributed to the shift. The cheaper mm -hmm. costs of solar, wind, and other clean technologies uh, with progress tends to encourage even more investment in those areas. The other thing is that governments, uh, some governments have realized that having cleaner sources of energy do help the climate and also makes um, this re uh, sourcing energy more secure so that they're not at the whim of, say, oil producing nations, OPEC uh, that may control supply. Now, the other thing is the governments have increasingly started to um, offer more incentives for things like solar panels and electric vehicles and uh, batteries. And we've seen that in Canada recently as well. So the more that happens, the more it's bound to escalate that gap between fossil fuel investment and greener investments though we should say that some are still um, not uh, happy about the fact that oil isn't getting as much investment as before, and the OPEC oil cartel would be among those opponents.